Watkins out on the court. Game started, and Plymouth got the first possession of the game. Plymouth all in green, shoot from left to right. Worcester all in orange, shoot from right to left. Plymouth had the first shot of the game. Penn from under the hoop, but he couldn't make it go. Yeah, I think Penn was trying to draw the foul on that early on. Um, you need a good game from him today. Watson restarts the game into Sayers. Watford backs in. Sayers didn't know it was coming to him, but Plymouth have kept the ball. Out to Watson. He'll go for a shot. Yeah, messy start there from Plymouth. They, uh, they weren't on the same page when they were running their sets. It's Dusha. Dusha driving in. Former Raider makes the first two points of the game. That's a strong start from him. Keno at the top, looking at Watson for another three-point shot. That one goes for Neil Watson. It's important for him to get started early on after his recent form. Yeah, that's Neil Watson's 42nd three-point shot of the season. He's going to be hoping to keep that going. Dusha to Navas. Palmer. Parrish give it back to Palmer, who went for the shot. Penn picks it back up, Watson. Up against Dusha. To Sayers, quick pass back to Penn. Goes inside and the two points goes. Yeah, I think that's a good matchup for Penn there. I think athleticism-wise, he's got the, uh, the edge on the uh, Worcester player. I think they're going to look to go to that a few times. Dusha to Navajas. Dusha picks it back up. Navajas up to Palmer, he's got some time. You see there from Raiders, they're, uh, they're trying to double team in the, in the corners. Um, attended a training session recently with Coach Love and it's somebody he's been focusing on for this game is, is making sure they can double team the, uh, the guards up high um, and playing a strong defense there. Quick play from Plymouth. And just going to quite make that one. Carries the ball, gets it to Navajas. And the shot. Yeah, it's going to be tough to stop if he catches the ball inside early. You know, um, you can't let him get position in there. The Jitski there. Uh, Jinsky's first one doesn't go. He's been playing well for us. He's, he's got some good stats. He's scoring the ball well. And, you know, he's a, he's a big old guy. He's got long arms. And he's going to be tough to match. Oh, focus three throws there. Off the mark. He'll be disappointed. He's a big guy, though. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a presence in this league. There's no doubt about it. Um, and he gets up the court pretty well as well. to Watson with some time. Watson looking to put a couple of early threes away. He got the first one, but that one didn't go that time. Yeah, so he's, he's struggled to score the ball the last couple of games. Um, he, he's had a real tough time. So I think he's going to be looking to make, make an early impact. And if he can get a couple of threes down, set himself a little bit, he's going to be OK. And Palmer shot on the other end, didn't go. Due to stopping the fast break. And he'll get the ball from the sideline. Watson tried to find Rochford. Dusha comes away with it. Kuczynski, lovely pass. Yeah, this is why I like Dusha as a point guard. He, he could have gone one on one there, forced the layup, but he slows the game down. He's got good vision. Starts the movement going for a nice easy score from Worcester. Paris made it 5 4. Lovely pass from Watson to Penn. Makes two, and he'll get the foul. Watson looking to start this game strong. Lovely pass from him there. Yeah, he's. He's another point guard with good vision. It's an interesting matchup with Watson Dusha. Um, you know, I'd say Watson's more of a scoring point guard, and, and Dusha is is more uh, of a controlling. He, he'll be a floor general, control the game, see good passes. But Watson, then he um, he's not 
He's not shy of passing the basketball, you know, looking at 7.3 assists a game right now for Neil Watson. He's still top of the league for assists? Oh, yeah, still top of the league. Um, and I suppose if he's not scoring the ball well, he's, he's definitely creating shots for his players and his teammates. Pemé Diam won there. Dujo with a deep three attempt. Wouldn't go. Palmer picks it back up of Watson on the floor. Navajas. Dujo to Palmer. Pass to Navajas. And as Kino picks up his first foul. Um, something that Coach Love's going to keep an eye on. He's, uh, he's averaging about four fouls a game right now. So um, he's a key player for Raiders. I don't think they're going to want him getting in foul trouble just yet. Said it all too many times this season already. Rochford uh, pretty high in the foul count. Yeah, he makes himself known when he's playing defense. Um, sometimes that's not a bad thing, but he's just going to kind of rein it in. Um, you know, Worcester have got some good players inside, and you definitely need a guy like Kino on the floor. He never has. Makes them both. It's Plymouth 8, and Worcester 6. Three and a half gone in quarter one. Penn. Shot didn't go. Just fallen short for the American. Oh, it's a nice pass there. Penn. Parrish comes back at him. Penn looks to make it go. Brandon Penn just struggling in the early stages of this game. Paczynski. Yeah, that, that's something he's got on the locker there. Very often you get a, a big guy like that who can shoot the long-range two-pointers as well. Say it's up by Parrish and Paczynski. Had a coil, let's fly. Pan picks it back up well. Feeds Rochford. Watson lets one go. And again, Neil Watson warming up. Look to make an impression in this game. You should Parrish. Parrish, a movement for him, but couldn't get anywhere. Oh, Dusha slips the defense there. That's Navas. Puts it back up. Has he put that foul on? Is that going to be another one? I'm not sure if that was Rochford or Kino. T for Kino already. Yeah, that's not good for Raiders right there. It's Louis Sayers making way for Denzel Ubiaro. But surely it's got to be in Gavin Love's mind already. Two fouls for Rochford yeah, early on. Yeah, I think you're going to be looking at bringing on Zach Wells soon. Um, if Kino picks up another one in the next couple of minutes, and that's a whole lot of problem for Plymouth Raiders. Another half sufficient from the line early on. Could go four from four for the game. Uh, Penn's got to be careful there. He's got to step away from the ref. They called it, um, they called it a goaltending from the referees. Looks like they're having a discussion about it. Well, Penn and, uh, and Coach Love are saying as the ball was on its way out. I would you agree? I'd say it was potentially on its way in. But uh, well. I guess the referee on the baseline, he's got the best view of it. Um, and if he was looking at the right thing, he would have seen it. And by the look at the reaction of the Worcester players, I think this may go Plymouth's way. Just waiting for the call now from the referees. Coach Love just bringing his players in quick. Uh, referee explaining to the Worcester coach right now, which puts it in my eyes that it's going to go Plymouth's way and the basket's not going to count. Coach Love, though, he's giving a lot of instructions to Keenu, Keenu Rochford. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be saying, stop fouling people now. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like no basket there for Worcester. Um, no, no basket, I think they say the ball was on the rim, so. <laughs> Tricky call. Tricky call for the officials to make there. Watson. Lead by two at the moment. 
Awesome bounce pass into Rochford, drives inside. Oh, lovely. Gilchrist coming in. I think you're going to see a lot of that today. Uh, Robert Gilchrist, he is a strong, strong player. GB International, he's averaging four blocks a game so far. Um, he's got long old arms. He's a player that I rate and I'm very much looking forward to seeing today. The QBRO into Watson. Goes past Dusha. Steps back, slows it down. Yeah, smart move from Watson there to slow the game down again. Gilchrist there, number 14, a long athletic player. Adekoyo of all times in room, surely going to make it go, and he does. He's got left all on his own. Yeah, he's not your normal three-point shooter, um, but he can knock him down when it counts. Looks like uh, Coach Lav just had a, a warning there. I believe he was uh, saying something to the referees they didn't like. Um, Coach Lavia, uh, where's his heart on his sleeve on that sideline? Yeah, he. Um, I think he lets the referees know who he is. <laughs> Beeman. Palmer. Bounces behind. Plymouth five points up. That represent a good start for them. Oh yeah, they're gonna they're gonna feed on this. Hopefully, um, Plymouth uh, are a team that do need that little bit of a boost right now. Worcester certainly won't go away though. UBR and under the hoop, got his own shot. And in the corner, and Akoya gets his own shot, picks it back up on the rim, couldn't make it. Yeah, he's got to let. He's, that's he's got to go. Count. That's got to be an easy layup for him right there. Do shot, Gilchrist. Gilchrist spinning, spinning oh. again. Great foot, foot work. Such a tall man. Yeah, good defense there from Brown and Penn. That's a good matchup. Both, uh, both, some, both of those guys got really long, long arms. They, they oh, what a shot by Watson! Oh. Hello, I missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy talking about Gilchrist's long arms, and I missed an absolutely fantastic move from Neil Watson. It's Palmer, Gilchrist. Dusha. Bowman back to Gilchrist. Steps back. Air shot, but the easy two, is it? Yeah. You, as Raiders, they'll be disappointed with that, but it's a transition. Transition Brandon. play. Brandon Penn. Boom. Oh, there you go. Nice and easy. But Raiders down the other end. They, they can't have uh, Worcester getting too many second chances. Dusha to Beeman. Back to Dusha. Palmer. Dusha. Quick pass by Worcester. Feeds Dusha again. Yeah, Worcester nice. struggling at the moment. Yeah, Raiders have set themselves up in his own defense. Uh, something again they've been working on in training. So it's looking to disrupt Worcester right now. And Akoya, the Rochford. Watson wants it outside, but Rochford will go in for the two. Watson, Watson will be disappointed he didn't receive the ball. Now the chance for Worcester and Gilchrist. Massive punk from Gilchrist. And that's the norm from him, I'm afraid, for Plymouth Raiders. Such long arms, big guy. Made that look really, really easy. Looking for what the call was there. Blocking foul, sideline ball. No count on the basket. Paczynski making his way back on by Alejandro Navaja. Sackwells and Eunice Yava lining on for Rochford and Penn. Not surprising Rochford has been taken on, off even. Oh, yeah, no surprise at all. He's on two fouls and you know, with a minute to go, it's not worth it. It's definitely not worth it putting him on three fouls. And um, I'm sure they're absolutely loving it. Getting restarted by UBRO. They're looking to extend their lead. Adekoya, Yavalainen. Ooh, air ball from Yavalainen. Just coming to the game early, make an impression. Well, that one didn't go. It's Parrish. Beeman. That one goes. Lovely shot from Beeman. Carrying the ball up the court. It's good moving from Watson. Receives the ball again. Go past Parrish into Wells and fouled. Yeah, nice move there. Um, Watson coming off, uh, coming down the baseline off the screen, looking at squaring up. Takes a shot. Nice easy pass. Zach Wells 
gone to the basket. Hopefully two chances to uh, put points on now. Dush looking to make his way back on in a moment. What's it surprising Watson's in the top three uh, average minutes played, but he's still full of running all the time. Oh, he's he's a key player for Plymouth. When he scores or if he doesn't score, he's key. Um, and without Neil Watson on this team, I think Plymouth be in a, a worse position than they are now. Wells making the first one go. But he, he needs some help from his teammates, Neil does. Um, he needs some games and some big games for him from players who don't normally have him. Well, he's making both of them. Plymouth, they lead by five at the moment. Beeman to Dusha. It's George Beeman. Interesting matchup at the minute. Um, had a coy there, had Gilchrist with him, and that wasn't a good look. It's Beeman. Yeah, foul called. George Beeman looking to make add to his earlier three, but. Well, he's still got the wow. opportunity to. Gilchrist is having a word with uh, Coach James. Yeah, I think what you've got there, the Raiders have set themselves up in a zone. Um, Coach is probably looking at Gilchrist there. He's got he's got two easy matchups if he stays down low uh, without a Koya, who's actually come off now. So you have Louis says he's probably down low on the zone and. If you can get Gilchrist in a one-on-one -on -one with him down there, it's going to make life very difficult. The second one doesn't go there uh, for George Beeman. It's a big crowd in today, the sold-out crowd, surely going to put him off. Two from three. And we're still within three now. About a five-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Watson, Dusha finds himself in the hoardings. Wells picks it up. Out to Ubiaro. He'll go for three. Doesn't go. Wells picks it back up. Drive in. Yeah, nice. Oh, by yeah, another positive move from Zach Wells. Um, he's another player that you need a couple of big games from and a few good minutes from. You know, last two games he's got six points and two points. And from a guy his size, um, he, you know, he needs to just be a little bit more productive. And he's been on for a few minutes now and he's had two opportunities at the basket, drawn two fouls. And Hopefully he's going to knock down another couple of free throws. That's the first one. Is that why I was looking to go four from four for the game? And there it goes. And nine seconds left in the first quarter. Dusha tries to go past Watson. He picks it up well. Watson! No. <laughs> Lost his rhythm a little bit. A capable of shooting that ball and just haven't done so consistently just as yet. I'm sure we'll still want that to change. And uh, they're on the ball now with Beeman. Early two chance to him. He knocks that one go. Lovely shot there from George Beeman, number 24. Made some early points so in this game for Worcester. Watson to Yarba Linen. Watson again, time and space. Sayers tried to pick it back up. Parrish was there. Yeah, Watson's on nine points right now. Um, he's their key guy, so Watson need to kind of make sure they look after him a little bit more. He won't miss those shots all the time. Beeman, Dusha, Parrish. Another three attempt goes a begging. For Worcester is Dusha. Pass it back to Beeman, another try, that one goes. There we go, there we go. If they get that shot going, like I said, it's going to be dangerous. They wish to tie the game early in quarter two. 23 each. Says to Wells. The other line in all kinds of room, didn't spot him, now they have. With five on the shot clock, so have to make this one go quickly. Watson will drive into the paint, tried to step it into Wells, couldn't go. Worcester with the chance to go into the lead now. Dusha into Gilchrist, he'll slam it down. Yeah, that, Gilchrist. that was a tough pass there for Watson to make. You know, Zach was right next to him, there was guys all danger, but they've got to look to more than just Neil, and that's going to be Plymouth's issue moving forward. Good of time quickly here. Rochford. Watson sets himself, makes a three, Watson. 
Just as we were talking about, Neil Watson. Yeah, I say he's more than just a three-point shooter, but I'll tell you what, if he keeps shooting like that today, I think Raiders will be more than happy. Blocking foul, uh, Worcester ball. start the game for Worcester. Pass to Gilchrist. It's Beeman. Oh, what a shot. Here's another one. Beeman started this game really strongly for Worcester. Wells. Gets it back, who's lucky there, and Penn. Kaczynski picks it up. Dusha. There's another one for Penn there, he can make. Beeman, he's on fire! Oh, oh. Beeman! He can't miss right now. That hoop looks absolutely massive to him right now. He's thrown anything in there. And a to Wells. Watson! That's Watson versus Beeman at the moment. Hey, that's a shoot-off I like to see. Let's keep that going. Plenty for the fans to enjoy, but what a shot there from Beeman earlier on. Oh, yeah, he's feeling it right now. He's got the hot hand, and he's going to let it fly every time. Paris for two. What's raining down in the second quarter here at Pavilions. Watson with another go. That one falls short. You see Beenham now, he's, uh, he, he's where he wants it, and I wouldn't be surprised if he lets this go. Beeman to Dusha. Beeman just stays in the area again. Gilchrist went for it, couldn't go. Watson. Span, Beeman did well. We're still going to hit transition now. Adekoya doing oh. well. Good steal, very important steal. Watson, oh, tried to fly it by, and Adekoya. Tipped in by Rutgers. Yeah, nice from Watchford there. He's averaging nine rebounds a game. Um, key player for Raiders underneath the basket. Dusha Paczynski with time. The two and again and again. Oh, how many chances and from Raiders are they going to give him right there? Took him three, but Paczynski made it. There's no way you can just look at that ball and try and out jump a guy like him. You've got to box him out properly. Quite to Watson. Penn. Wells, seven on the shot clock. Had a coil back to Wells. Nice pass from Penn. And again, Gilchrist comes in. Second block of the game for Gilchrist, and he wants that ball back again. It's Parrish. Away from Penn. Dusha and Beeman. And Beeman that time. The shot couldn't go. Great quarter of basketball. Oh yeah, I love it. This is this is good basketball. You've got some good shots being taken, you've got good transition, you've got big blocks. Just what we need. Number four down at the moment, they're on 31 Worcester. They sit on 35 points. Half the second quarter. Left to go. And this zone is still causing Worcester a few problems. Um, taking their time to try and break this down. Paris to Disha. That's a parish. Parish has a drive into the paint. Shot clock went down. And that's exactly one Plymouth one from there. Penn. Watson with another attempt at a three. That one doesn't go either. Wells picks it up. Oh, that's poor pass from Wells. Yeah, he's, he's done the hard work there. Parrish. Mm. You, 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 just, you just can't turn over the ball like that, Zach Wells. You know, he's he, he done the hard work. He did the dirty work. Some of the bench players to step up. They need points from, from people other than Penn, other than Watson. So, still could go either way. Watson and Penn. That one doesn't go. Watch, we couldn't pick up the rebound. Beeman just slowing it down. First defense seems to be working well at the moment. Beeman, lovely pass. Penn coming in. Baczynski gets there. Throws it. Nice and Trisky. Penn was unlucky to get that. 
But, oh, it's uh, a great pass to Pan, who picks it up. You know, Pachiski's going to take advantage of anything that comes into that key he gets his hands on. Adekoya, pass it to Rochford. Gilchrist coming in again. That's three blocks for him right there today. And here he is, under the hoop, easy as you like. Two points for Gilchrist. You know, Dusha is a happy man right now. If you're a point guard and you're looking up in the air and you've got, you got Gilchrist there with his hands up, you can just give him that ball all day long. Lovely job from Watson. Racket from the start, they make the two. Eight points behind Worcester at the moment. Dusha, five on the shot block. Wachinski, again, he finds himself inside. Yeah, Worcester are doing a really good job here. They're, they're not rushing anything, they're just slowing that offense down, working the ball until they get a nice, easy look. Throw to Rochford. Watson back to Rochford. Got sat down by the two. There's Pachinski again, trying to make himself known in the key. And you know, there's no question about it, Worcester are looking inside for him. Gilchrist, looking to get up, he's Parrish, goes past Sayers. It's going to be a, oh, it's a blocking foul. It looked like Rochford stood up pretty well to that. Personally, I thought it was a charge, but I'm not a referee and I'm not still on the court. But, you know, going to have Worcester there with two shots. You know, they're not been shooting great free throws, they're, they're five from nine at the moment. Um, so. Raiders could be hoping with a couple of misses here, but Worcester uh, doing a great job right now, just getting to the basket and making easy scores. The Parrish should have two goes from the line here, but Rochford not happy. That's three fouls for him already today. Not happy at all at the moment, is he? No, it's. Um, I think he, he felt that he, he, he was there, he got his feet stanced, uh, yeah, sorry, in the, in the correct stance early on, but ref fought differently. Ref just come to the table. Got a technical for uh, Worcester. They had, uh, well, Worcester basically had six players on the court. Um, you read that black and white in the rule book, six players on the court, technical foul. Don't see that very often. Hardly see it at all. At junior level, we see it a lot. <laughs> Not because... You uh, see it a lot. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Maybe that's, a good, that's uh, more on my coaching. <laughs> Do anything to win. <laughs> Raiders shooting 100% from the free throw line. That's six from six now. Zach Wells and Nick Tomczyk coming in from Rochford and Sayers. Edmund's free throw shooting at the moment very strong and had a coil restart the game for him from the sideline. A technical foul there. It's just swung the momentum for the moment in Plymouth's favour. If they can get the shot here, yeah, they're in six. They're a point where they need to get back in the game. A um, couple of easy scores would help. Some good offences. Wells. Wells turns well. Nice strong move from Zach, but he's got to work on that finesse finish. Get into Parrish and Pichinski. Well stood up, even went past him. It's Parrish driving the shot block. Oh, comes straight back to Penn. Tom Sick, his first action of the game. Watson from the corner. That's by Pachinski. Great pass to Penn. He gives it to Radakoya. Lovely passing from Plymouth. Tom Sick. <laughs> Get a straight shot there from Nick Tom Sick. Yeah, nice bit of ball movement there from Plymouth. Um, no full stop on the end of it, though. Match up between Pachinski and Adekoya. Pachinski got it. Parrish and Beeman. 
driving in. Uh, he's going to call the foul there on Neil Watson. Um, his arm got caught up on there. Yeah, Nick, Nick Tomzek coming into the game now. He's He's been a steady player. He's a bit hit or miss sometimes from Nick. He's, he's a good, solid player. and when he, He's a hard worker. He can score the ball. Um, just haven't seen as much of him lately. Hopefully he can uh, get some rhythm going today. What time I called that game struggle against the, you know, the frame of Paczynski? I think what they're looking for there out of Corey is he's a quick player. He's, he, he can, he's good at reading passes. He can maybe get a few interceptions. But physicality-wise, he, yeah, he's no match. Gilchrist into Paczynski. Oh, Parrish couldn't. That was, that's what Raiders need if they want to get back in this game. There's a few little mistakes like that from some good defense. Got to take advantage of offense, though. Parrish didn't gather. So Plymouth will retain possession. Tom Sick past Parrish, out to Penn. His pass inside of Koya. Tom Sick will grab that one. Yeah, good rebound from Nick Tom Sick. Read that really well. Ball inside the clear again. That's good movement from Pinner. Yeah. Within six is Beeman. Palmer. And Parrish. It's up to Plymouth. They've got a real chance here. Watson. Doesn't go for Plymouth. Who's going to grab that one? It's Parrish. Well, they've got to take advantage of right there. Parrish doesn't miss many three-point shots like that. And uh, Plymouth really needed to get an easy score off that. Ten seconds left in the game. In the uh, half, rather. Beeman from Parrish. Three seconds left. That's a charge. Great defensive stance there from Plymouth from Brandon Penn. There's only two seconds left on the clock. And I'm going to want to make a quick shot here. Yeah, you know, tough to get a score now, but really important right there. They stop Worcester from getting the last shot of the game. Really good defensive stance from Brandon Penn. For two seconds. Watson with the shot. That one's going to fly over. Right over the top there. Way to finish a half. So at the end of the big game on his return to Pavilions, and they want to do that in front of the crowd. He's made a real statement so far. Yeah, every, every team wants a point guard like him. He, he is unselfish. He moves the ball. He looks to help people score, and that is his mentality. And the game restarted with Plymouth. They left to get back into this one early doors with Louis Sayers. Yeah, nice shot from Louis Sayers. It's what he's capable of. We just need to see more of it from him, and we know he can. Yeah, he's definitely a player who's been working hard at training. I attended a couple of sessions with Gav, and... Uh, Watching Louis in action, he he can play well and he can shoot the ball well and he's pretty athletic as well. Dushin to come back at them. now the has hit it into Baczynski's face. Well, that's going to be a foul there from Dusha, blocking foul. Yeah, he had to slow Neil Watson down right there. Teams out on the court at the moment: Watson, Penn, Sayers, Rochford, and Adekoya for Plymouth. And Dusha, Beeman, Navahas, Baczynski. And Parish for Worcester. Nice positive start there from Plymouth. Listen to Watchford. Pemmer some time. Stand Louis at the top. Ah, he can't catch that ball. Uh, it looked like he was carrying up for another three point shot there off the, uh, off the screen. A big three to open the half for uh, Louis Sayers. Maybe yeah. pleased with that one, brings Plymouth right back into it. Yeah, I like Louis Sayers. He's a really good shooter. Um, still very, very young. Hard worker. I think he's going to, um, every year he's going to get stronger. Now the hazard to Pajinski, almost hit it into the hoop while trying to gather it. Out of Koya now. And that, off. that's those easy two point shots that we, uh, you know, Plymouth should be making there. And that's where they're going to be struggling. Beeman for three again. Beeman. Throwing it down. Whew. He's having a strong game. And transition, it's Rochford. Beeman comes in. Yeah, that's 19 points now for Beeman. He is looking good right now. Great passage of play there for Beeman. Well, I'm Neil Watson right now. I'm going to be stepping up on this guy because he can shoot that ball from anywhere today. 
Not just that, he showed his defensive work there coming in and made three and saved two for his team. Pichinski punches that one. They watched the right by six. Can be a Plymouth possession with Adekoya. Adekoya trying to speed it up. Drives in, Baczynski takes it off of him. Penn will have to make that one. Nothing with ease. Dusha wanting the ball on the wing right now. Uh, he's going to cut through, come out the other side. He picks it up now. Five on the shot clock. Baczynski with all sorts yeah. of time. Assist number 10 for Dusha right there. to Rochford and Watson Dusha puts him on the floor that's foul number two for Dusha in this half um, we have Plymouth ball he's on two fouls for the game um, no need to panic just yet but it could be interesting he's on 10 assists right now and he's, he's proven to be a really strong uh, player now for Worcester he's, he's making some dangerous plays to Rochford, posts up, tries to drive back in. Wachinski picks it up. Not, Rochford, not Rochford's best bit of work. Now the house with all kinds of room. Watson and Sayers. Uh, Plymouth really need to start making some offences count right now. A couple of turnovers early on in this quarter. Some miss, miss layups, miss shots. They're still in the game though, so they're getting away with it right now with tough defense. Another half shot to give it in to Beeman. Can we go Worcester ball there? Foul on Plymouth Raiders. Third foul for Adequa. Three minutes of the third quarter gone. What's the ball? Paris to Pajinski. With the Beeman, tried to send it back to Pajinski. He'll pick it up. Navajas. Uh, foul Rockford there. Comes and in. You know who that foul's on. It's on Rockford again. That's his fourth. Now you see Louis says put his hand up there and he's trying to take that foul away from him. Smart team play by Louis, uh, but no, that was an obvious one. And it will go off now, Rochford for that Wells, and that's a disappointment for him and for Coach Love early on in quarter three and in the second half. But again, Rochford just getting drawn into the trap. And well, what, you know, that was a silly do? foul. He came in from behind there. He, he, he reached right across the shoulder of, uh, of the Worcester player, Pajinski. Sorry, not Pajinski. Mel Haas. Oh, Mel Haas. But, um, yeah, it, it's just a, just a foul that you don't need to even, even attempt. It's just not worth it, especially sitting on three fouls. Never has one from two. Must have not great from free throw territory today, but still making them count, and they're up to 50. Watson, nice work from him. Yeah, tough, tough shot to make from Neil Watson. Lovely finish. Push to Pajinski. She drives in. Picked back up by Beeman. Another two for him. Right place, right time, and, and Raiders just not working hard enough to get that rebound. Saying that George Beeman, he's been excellent today so far. Yeah, he's been fantastic. He, you know, he's on 21 so far, and he's having a, a great game. Another two points goes a miss there for Plymouth. Paris was crowded out, did well to get it out to Dusha. Beeman with some good movement. Can't make the shot. 
Plymouth attack and with Sayers and Penn. To Watson, they want to make this one count. That never looked like it was going to go for Penn. Life's not going to get any easier right now. On comes Gilchrist for Worcester. And Plymouth are really struggling to get the ball in the hoop. Gilchrist not the man you want to see uh, limbering up when you're in this sort of position. Dusha. Beeman. Penn doing well to get in the yeah, way. Good steal from Penn. Going to make it count though. Penn bouncing to Watson. And goes up off the glass, goes. Yeah, tough finish. Can still within five? Can they be pleased with that? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, I think you know what, they could be disappointed that they've missed plenty of chances right now. You know, the fact they're within five and missed so many easy shots from inside, um, you know, they could be in ahead right now. You know, they're doing a very good job, sorry, a very good job defensively. Um, you know, get Dusha to force out three point shots like that, they'll be very happy. Shot clock ran down for him. We'll say it's given to Watson, another one. Yeah, Watson's having a game today. He's scoring the ball really well. The reverse layup from Watson. Feature of part of uh, this quarter so far. I've been within three points now. It's Parrish. Bounce into Gilchrist. Up to Dusha. He'll go for three. That was a go. Gilchrist round to the hoop there. I thought he probably could have gone for the two. Yeah, Dusha's had a great game so far. It's like I said, he's unselfish and he passes the ball well. But when you're open, you, you want to take that shot. But and again, they probably should have gone for an easy look. 407 left. First time we start the game with Navajas. And Dusha will bring the ball up the court. He's faced up by Watson. Moving from Parrish and Gilchrist. That's where they're going to look to get their easy points from right now. And there it is. With that easy two. Penn throws it straight at Gilchrist. Oh, Worcester ball. Great work from Parrish there just to force. Yeah, nice bit of energy from Worcester. Yeah, Raiders have got to make it count. Every offense they have, they've got to make count because it's really difficult to stop Worcester. Worcester up by three, chance to extend the lead here. Dutcher controlling the game, looking to make those dangerous passes. El Haas. Gilchrist. Wow. You know, they put two guys on him down at the low post. They force him to take the fadeaway jump shot. Still an easy make for him. Watson to Wells. Watson says the corner. He likes that. Louis says for free. Big shot from Louis. So many times this season in the corner, he's works his magic, and the same goes there. Limited in two. Goes this to Dusha to Palmer. Palmer for two. Lucas came in, but Penn got his body in the way. Limited with a chance to level this game up. I see Louis Sayers open again on the wing. Is the ball going to come down? No, Brandon Penn takes it. That one doesn't go, but Wells grabs it. Give it to Penn. Penn fake to Watson. And now he gives it to him. Five on the shot clock. Watson might have a go here. Four shot, Watson. It's the rim, comes out to Palmer. Yeah, Watson's not happy there. He fought Dusha, gave him a little push from behind. Um, it's definitely a close call. Parrish. Parrish for three. Palmer in there. That one doesn't go. Ball rolling around. Uh, interesting couple of uh, plays there. You know, Raiders really needed to get an offensive rebound. Um, game's getting a little bit physical. Um, Refs need to probably take a little bit of control of it right now. Wojcicki and Beeman coming on. A couple of Worcester players making way. Two for Worcester counters with the AM1 chance for Palmer. 
he'll want to put this one away. Doesn't go. This is a two-point play there for Palmer and for Worcester. Watson comes away with it. Going past Gilchrist. Wells with tie. Radicoy's in the corner available. Nice screen from Zach Wells. For Watson and Penn past Beeman. To get past Pajinski as well. Didn't really look on the shot again for Penn. And he has prone to making a couple of these shots. Yeah. Doesn't really look feasible. Yeah, it's a time right now. It's a, it's a four-point game. Minute and a half Great pass from Dushard. Pajinski make and Penn fouled. Sorry, I interrupted. No, no, it's a, you know, <laughs> right now, Brown and Penn, it's a minute and a half to go. You, you still got 10, 15 seconds on the shot clock. You don't need to be making fadeaway shots with double teams on you. You've got to be passing that ball around. Neil Watson's got the hot hand right now. You want to look at him controlling this game. There's Paczynski with chances from the line. making his way on for Brandon Penn. Yeah, Worcester now, they, they're going to have to look at trying to extend in this lead. Raiders are missing a few offences and Paczynski making that first free throw count. I'm going to make the second one go. Paczynski. And falls short. The other lineman found his way on the deck. Yeah, I think he was a little... I think he had a helping hand from uh, from Worcester right there as well. Sayers in that corner again. Watson. Sayers, Plymouth want to make this offence count. Nice pass from Sayers. And Wells. Yeah, good strong finish from Zach Wells. Dutra and Palmer. Ooh, another one goes. Gavin Love pleased with that one. That's happened a couple of times for Worcesters now. They, uh, they've lost control of that ball and just simple mistakes. And this is the time really that Plymouth need to capitalise. Yeah, 49 seconds to go. Plymouth got every chance of bringing this game level um, going into the fourth quarter. Watson, crowd getting behind the team. Watson in and out movement. Wells spinning. Lovely from Zach Wells. That one doesn't go. We'll get it again. Chance for him. Yes, Zach Wells. He's going to like that. Nice physical play from him. And the presence of mind not to shoot when he got the first attempt, just to form to a bit more room. Put that one away. Coach will be pleased with that. It's Gilchrist. Oh, foul oh, called. Foul by Adekoya. Yeah, looks like Plymouth are going to get the last possession. Um, yeah, Worcester are going to look at making sure they can keep their lead going into the fourth, knock these down. That's had a quarter up to four fouls. Yeah, they're going to make sure we get him off the court quite quickly. Gavin Love will. Tom Sick. Yeah, Tom here Sick. he comes. Tom Sick will come in for the final 15, 16 seconds of the quarter. Flushes that one away. Two from two, easy as you like. Push up to 61 points. Yeah, Plymouth look like they will get the final possession. Of the quarter, 10 to go. Watson, drive in. Nice from Neil Watson. A few seconds left, have to shoot quickly. Dusha, Pajinski. Uh, too late That's there. I'll tell you what, Pimp need now, though. I think they're going to need some nice, easy looks and some nice, easy baskets. They're only six from six. Um, oh, nice move. Easy. easy as you like now, the house into Palmer. Yeah, they're only six from six from the free throw line, so I think they're going to be a little bit disappointed. They haven't been getting to the hoop more and, and drawing those fouls. So can you have a line to Sayers? Wells to Watson. Watson for three. Palmer picks it up. Nice rebound from Palmer. Really athletic player.
Dusha off the screen, looks to go back into Great Gilchrist. Great pass to Gilchrist, Jarbalanen fell over. And Sayers didn't really need to do that, just stuck his hand onto Gilchrist. It's, it's so difficult, how do you stop this guy right now? You know, there was a lovely pick and roll move between him and Dusha. Great pass from Dusha. You know, he's got 11 assists so far today, and every time Gilchrist get the ball under, gets the ball under the hoop, you kind of think, well, he's not going to miss, is he? Let's see if he can make the M1 here. Keenan Watcher coming back in for Zach Wells. Oh, he's missed that one. You know, he's six from eight inside. Um, so I think you're pretty confident if you're Worcester right now and you can get some nice easy looks with Gilchrist in the low post or in inside the block, you know, he's going to make those baskets. It's a ball to Sayers from Watson. Gilchrist got in the way, but comes up to Sayers and Tomsick who are keeping the ball. Tomsick with plenty of time. That one had to go and it did. Yeah, Nick Tomsick. Big shot from Nick Tomsick right there. Keeps Raiders in the game. to Navajas. Gilchrist flew up, flew up in the air to grab that one. Watson did well to get in the way. Yeah, nice deflection there from Neil Watson. Demons to Gilchrist. Gilchrist. He's so tough to defend. Lovely move from Gilchrist. We'll have two shots. Foul one, Neil Watson. Court just getting dried off. Go, Crystal, have two shots from the line. Missed his last one. I want to put that right. Could have been two so far in the quarter four. Minute and a half gone. Was drawn 65, ended up in 63. Uh, Kino Rocher is uh, back into the game today. He has some four fouls and he's a presence inside, but he's going to have to keep away from fouling anybody right now. You can sure think that Whistler are going to target him. It's two from two for Gilchrist. Worcester 67 for the 63. Comes it to Watson. Watson has to pass it to Rochford and another turnover. Up. Worcester with a good chance to extend their lead. Gilchrist. Nice from Rochford coming in. Watson and Sayers. In and out. Louis Sayers. Doesn't get the bounce he wants. Keep shooting them, Louis. Dusha, another has goes past Rochford. Can't really foul. And Rochford was to get the possession. Is Rochford nice comes away? Move. Strong move from Kino Rochford. It's Gilchrist. Another put down for Gilchrist. Gilchrist is getting absolutely anything he wants inside. He is. He's, he's proven to be a real nightmare for the Raiders defense. And he's put Worcester another four points up. Tom Sick. Tom Sick almost crowded out. Look like the foul. Timeout call from Gavin Love. The game delicately poised at the moment, Paul. Kind of down by four. And Worcester and especially Gilchrist finding us. 7 17 left in quarter four. Kind of down by four. But they have possession. This is to Tom Sick, about to Watson. Tom Sick. Risky pass there from Neil Watson. Just about came off, and the shot clock goes. Yeah, good defense there from Worcester, making uh, Raiders rotate the ball around the outside with with little to show from it. D 
Matuša. You can see there, um, Jessica Lyman's uh, with Gilchrist off the ball. Oh, nice shot. Oh, what a shot. And now that has. Yeah, Jessica Lyman's been defending uh, Gilchrist off the ball, trying to make it really difficult for them to get the pass into him. And they're going to try and control that, but that's going to lead the way for other points to be scored from Worcester. We have a line into Sayers. Tom Sick in the corner and needs to make this one go. That one doesn't. Uh, good hustle there from Jonas. Was still the real chance to pull away from the Raiders. Yeah, if they go on a small run now, it's going to prove it very difficult for Raiders to come back into the game. And a rare turnover there from Dusha. But a bit too much on that one. Yeah, it's the second turnover of the game, and I think you're happily given that one with 12 assists so far. There's the other line into Watchford. Watchford, nice pass to Tom Sick. Get under the hoop. Watchford and Yarba Linen. That one needs to go. Yarba Linen. That's a big shot, and you can hear how happy Pavilions are of that. Raiders back in the game. Give it to Palmer. Trying to come in, he's got to be careful. Dusha, spin by Gilchrist and Rochford. That's good ball movement from Worcester. Got the ball inside for Gilchrist, missed the shot, but ref calls a foul. That's all out from Rochford. It's going to be on the floor though as they're pushing the back. That number five on Rochford was that? Thought it was. Umpires ref just having a word, but look. If that was Rochford, that would be his final foul. So no basket was scored. We know that. It's end line ball for Worcester. Rest still having a conversation. Foul on, foul Neil, on Neil Watson, though. No. Rochford uh, still in the game, still causing problems. It's Neil Watson's second foul of the game. He's never has. Sayers picks it up. Plymouth with the chance here. They're going to want to make this possession count. With Louis Sayers. Doesn't go. The other line and picks it back up well. Plymouth need to make the points here. Tom Sick. Oh, good job. Bringing the ball block. back out there. The other line and goes in for two. That one doesn't going to go. And Watchford tried to come in. Plymouth agonisingly can't. Put the points away there. Navajas. Sayers and Plymouth really need to make one of these possessions count. Yeah, that's, that's, that's two, uh, two offences with no basket for Worcester. And unfortunately, Plymouth aren't making the most of the situation. You have a line in. Watson will drive. Watson nice goes. Move. Both have been two. A really tough move from Neil Watson there. Puts his team within two. Sign into the game here for the fans of Pavilions. Still half the last quarter to go. Dusha tried to bounce that one in. Tom Sick and Dusha fouled him. Yeah, it's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul. Dusha looks frustrated. There is such a good game, but. Yeah, that was nice, intense defense from Plymouth Raiders. Nick Tomzik and Neil Watson doing a fantastic job of making life harder. The key to with that is rounding up his team. Real chance for them now. That, that guy, he's, he's, he's always hyped. I, I've never seen Kino not hyped. Dusha and Navajas as well going off for the moment. Thompson makes that one go. Yeah, Dusha to tie the game and keep possession for Pimmer. Yeah, Dusha sitting down now. Um, interesting call to make from their coach because he's he's a he's a real playmaker right now for Plymouth. And at the same time, though, Neil Watson and Nick Thompson have been making his life a little bit difficult and bringing the ball up. And Plymouth have the chance to go into the lead for the first time in a long time. Right at the end of this game is Watson. Sayers. Rochford nice. spins. Yeah. Ooh, that yeah. one doesn't go. Doesn't fall. It's a good spin move there from Kino. Rochford, you see him do that a lot. He's, he's got a quick first step. Going to make these two free throws count and uh, take the lead, maybe. Yeah, 
He is so hyped, Kenny Rochford, all the time. Yeah, this is why Plymouth Raiders need him in the game, and he's going to have to do some work on that. Here he goes. No one just falls short. He's going to want to level the game here. And if he does, you listen to the videos, they'll go wild for it. Watch for that one will go. <laughs> 72 apiece. Great end to this game. Parrish to Beeman. Parrish making some movement. You've got the dangerous Pajinski inside, but Beeman gives it away. It's Tom Sick. Got to be smart now. And Watson. Yarvalainen. That one goes. Oh, that is a huge shot. I could not hear a single thing over the noise here at Pavilions. Inside, make the twos and get back into this. But yeah, that is the only thing. Can you stop them? Um, and I think that's very tough to do. So Plymouth have to keep scoring. So here we go then. 3.42 left in quarter four of this game. Plymouth up by three. Neil talking to his defence, trying to get the troops together. Wojcicki, Beeman, he's made so many already and that's another one for him. Yeah, you'd put your house on him making another one, that's for sure. Tie game. Watson. Into Tomsek. Tomsek, Beeman reached in, no foul called. Yarvalainen to Watson. Watson drives, back to Yarvalainen. Foul call, and that was on Gilchrist. Yeah, it's good to see uh, Yaskalainen. Yaskalainen? Um, Jonas Yaskalainen. Yavalainen. Yavalainen even. <laughs> oh, my days. It's been, a, it's been a long Christmas break. <laughs> but it's good to see him having confidence again going to the basket. You know, he, he showed a lot of promise in the first game of the season for Raiders, and he scores the ball well. He's been working hard. Um, and he's, he's kind of lost that step about him, that edge about him, and it looks like he's really got it back now. At least you know who he is and who he isn't right now. There to see Avalado making the first. Yes, Galina, that's the Arsenal goalkeeper, I think. Or was. <laughs> <laughs> Bolton, I think. <laughs> 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 Top form from your commentators today here at the Billions. Avalado makes them both. It's a bit two in the lead. Gilchrist into Parish. Final few minutes here at Pavilions. Beeman, Tomsek sticking to his task. It's Palmer. Good defence from Keenan Rochford. Try not to foul. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Ball goes out. Pit back up. Loose ball. Ah, that's going to be the push here from Jonas. Two. Two fouls for him. Four each for the quarter. Once again, we're seeing the ref come to the table. Pretty sure there's a push on Jonas. Uh, it's called end line ball. Wasn't shooting. That's the right call there. The yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, the, it was a push on the floor. Um, the shot came afterwards. Bill Chris, what's are doing well? Out of bounds, going to go back. But yeah, hey, that's good intensity from Keenan Rochford there. You know, Plymouth, what they don't want is Worcester to uh, get to that free throw line easily and, and take shots without, uh, without the clock ticking. Another house coming in for Pichinski. Another house. A bit more of a threat from three point territory. Yeah, he's got a bit of everything. He's got a decent bit of size about him, can score from inside and outside. Beeman for three. Doesn't go. You know, so have a line and picks it up. Let's to the ground go. And Plymouth don't need to do anything too swiftly here. Just throw this one down. Jonas with the high screen. Look. Here he is. And Sayers from the corner. There it goes. Louis Sayers. Louis Sayers, when it matters, that's a huge free from him. He's had a fantastic shooting game. Wish to so look at to come straight back at them. Oh, back at you. Look at that with Parrish. Wow. Pavilion's just roof just flew off. Worcester came in and just put it nicely back on again. 
we've got a ball game. Two points in it, 149 left to go. The game we've got here, Sayers into Yarvalainen. Full court press from Worcester is going to catch him out though in transition maybe. Nope, Neil Watson slows it down. Smart move from Neil. Watson, Yarvalainen! Didn't need to go for that one. 140 on the clock. Two point game. Worcester looking to get a score. And that's the man to do it. Beads up. Navajas. Parrish. Does it go? Thompson picks it up. Goes out. Whose ball's that going to be? It's going to be a Worcester ball. Worcester ball. Yep. 128 left in this game. Right. What a game. Yeah, what a this, game we've got. this could go either way right now. Um, someone's trying to put a dagger in from the three point line either side right now. Ref having a, a quiet word with Coach James and saying. Come back to your bench. Don't want to be giving away any technical fouls now. Not a close game here. And already Palmas restarts. Game to Navajas. Palmer again, looking for this two. Parrish. Parrish comes in. And the am one call. Yeah, strong move from Parrish. He's a physical guy. He's got a lot of athleticism. Takes out to the basket real well right there and gets the rewards at the end. This is a big chance and Jonas Yarbalani will be ruining that three point chance he had earlier on. Yeah, you know, he's hit a couple now, so he was feeling it, but you know, it's easy to say when that missed shot comes, it was a bad decision, but I'll tell you what, if it went in, we would have got this Paris, big crazy. shot, misses it. That's a big shot. Yeah. Any shot you miss right now is uh, it's definitely going to be a dangerous time. It's going to be a foul on the floor there. But it's going to put both teams on five fouls now. Um, Everything going to the line. Oh, yeah. Is Watson going to the line? Yeah, he should be going to the line for two now. Yeah. Uh, I've got a funny feeling this is going to be the longest one minute we've seen in uh, quite a while. and go for Watson. Yeah, he'll be disappointed with that. It's a rare miss. That one goes. Watson, one from two there. One point game. Just over a minute left in this one. Nick Tomzik has been He's been doing a really good job on defense. He's come into the game and he's, he's played with a lot of intensity. Big part of this comeback. It's Gilchrist. Watch it in front of him. Navajas, five seconds on the shot clock. That's to make a shot go. It's Navajas. Watson picks it up. Little man with a big rebound right now and up he comes. Say it's to Watson. Gonna just want to slow this down. Don't want to get overexcited. But two points here would be massive for them. Six on the shot clock, five on the shot clock. Have to make a shot go, it's Watson, it doesn't go. Kill uh, Beeman rather. Oh yeah, Worcester want to slow this down and give himself a chance to win the game. It's a foul on the floor by Nick Tomzik. It's going to put Worcester to the line, give him the opportunity to take the lead. Um, the positive for Plymouth is going to be they're going to get the ball back. This is coming right down to the wire. Two free throws. You're going to hear a lot of noise now coming from Plymouth Pavilions. This is a big pressure shot when it counts for Worcester right now. Huge. Number 15, Trayvon Palmer stepping up. Plenty of noise around Pavilions. Puts up his first. Makes it go. Tie game. It is comfortable here. Almost have a chance to go back into it. Plymouth will get possession to win the game Palmer big Close shot from Palmer again. time out called well advantage Worcester this is exciting Plymouth on 18 17.6 seconds on the clock Plymouth down by one Watson picks up the ball from Sayers into Yarbalainen 
Another line and goes for it, and he loses it. Uh, yeah, it's good from Worcester. Plymouth come in with the foul earlier on. Jeff, that, was not, yeah. that was a wise one from the line and didn't really Honestly, look set. Didn't not really at, look all. Set at all. Um, it seemed off balance, but I think they maybe could have got a better look out of that. You know what? They could have possibly been a foul down the other end, but I'm not sure. With nine seconds on the clock, Plymouth is still going to get an opportunity. Even if it's a three-point opportunity, overtime beckons. It's never has. Two-point game. Still an opportunity for Plymouth to get back in it. You're going to want to find Watson for the three. Well, they've got some serious three-point threats. You know, Watson would be a go-to guy. Um, Another has puts them both down. Another timeout call. Right, Plymouth, they're going to want to look for the three-pointer and uh, possibly send this game to... Sales, Penn, got the other line, and Watson and Thompson. There's the first screen for Neil, pops out for the free. There's a foul called, but it looked like Neil made the pass. Um, Evoy is going to the line, it's going to be for two. So. Make the first, intentionally miss the second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the movies maybe, but <laughs> I think Neil's going to knock both these down and Plymouth are probably going to foul them pretty quickly. Ooh. Pressure shot. It goes. That. Is that a oh, refs. Refs got to be. Oh, I know. Yeah, he's called timeout. That would have been a heck of a. Knock down their free throws. So Beeman will restart the game. There's a foul. Oh, by Pen. 5.8 on the clock. Ref believes he went for the ball, so it's just going to be the two shots. No one sports him like called there. Big two shots. Needs to make them both go. Never has makes the first. You know, if he misses this, it's going to be tough for, for Plymouth to six seconds to get the court if they get a rebound. If he scores it, Plymouth is still going to get a three-point opportunity. Here he goes, makes them both. No timeouts left for Coach Love, so they're going to have to get that ball up the court. And it's going to go with Louis Sayers. Sayers misses the shot on go. the buzzer. Big win for Worcester.